அனைவருக்கும் வணக்கம் வெல்கம் டு சதீஷ் சயின்ஸ் டீச்சர் யூடியூப் சேனல் இஃப் யூ ஆர் சீயிங் திஸ் வீடியோஸ் இன் த ஃபர்ஸ்ட் டைம் ப்ளீஸ் டு நாட் ஃபர்கட் டு சப்ஸ்கிரைப் திஸ் சேனல் அண்ட் டூ ஷேர் வித் யுவர் ஃப்ரெண்ட்ஸ் அண்ட் ஆல்சோ ப்ரெஸ் எ பெல் ஐகான் நெக்ஸ்ட் டு சப்ஸ்கிரைப் பட்டன் தென் ஓன்லி யூ வில் கெட் ஆல் தி நோட்டிஃபிகேஷன்ஸ் ஆஸ் சுன் எஸ் ரிலீஸ்ட் அவுட் so today we are going to see the book back evaluations from standard 6 term 3 unit 3 chemistry in everyday life so the chemistry how it affects or how it overcomes us as a daily life like we are using the sanitization perfume and toothbrush and masalas chat patch like that and some cell phones and fertilizers tablets whatever we use to daily life is because of the gift of chemistry so points you should remember soaps are prepared by heating the mixture of olive oil animal fat and sodium hydroxide solutions fertilizer facilitates growth of plants vermicompost has high nutrient benefits and is very useful for sustaining the land fertilizing cement is manufactured by using lime clay and gypsum plaster of paris is used to, to fix bone fractures diluted phenol is used as a cleanser cleaner disinfectant and mouthwash adhesives are substances that are used to, to join two or more components together So choose the appropriate answer section. Soaps are originally made from animal fats and vegetable oils. The saponification of a fat or oil is done using sodium hydroxide solution for hot processes. Gypsum is added to the cement for delayed setting. Phenol is carbolic acid. Natural adhesives are made from starch. fill in the blanks propane ethyl s oxide gas causes tears our eyes while cutting the onions because the onion contains propane ethyl propane ethyl s oxide that is propane ethyl s oxide is abundantly found in the onions so once you cut it in the onions that time these chemicals are squeezed from the onion cells and they irritate the eyes water coconut oil and animal fat necessary for soap preparation earthworm is called as farmer's best friend organic fertilizer is eco friendly starch in water is an example of natural adhesives true or false concentrated phenol is used as disinfectant false because diluted phenol is used as a disinfectant gypsum is largely used in medical industries false because gypsum is largely used in cement industries plaster of paris is obtained from heat of the gypsum true adhesives are the substances used to separate the components false adhesives are the substances used to join the components npk are the primary nutrients of plants true because npk means nitrogen phosphorus k stands for potassium that is kalium so npk is nitrogen potassium phosphorus are the primary nutrients in plants true match the following soap soap is nothing but the sodium hydroxide cement cement is calcium sulfate 2 h2o fertilizer fertilizers are npk that is nitrogen potassium and phosphorus gypsum and phenol phenol is c6h5oh So arrange the following statements in the correct sequences. The sixth one is the first sentence. Cover your work area with the old newspaper. Take necessary quantity of water in a jar. Add concentrated sodium hydroxide in a jar and allow it to cool. Then add coconut oil drop by drop and stir it well. Pour the solution into an empty match box soap can be obtained after drying try this soap to wash your hand kerchief 
So next one is analogy section urea inorganic fertilizer vermicompost is organic fertilizer starch dissolved in water is a natural adhesives cellotape is a artificial adhesives so that's all about the one mark evaluations from this lesson so thanks for listening continuously without skipping so if you are seeing this video in the first time please subscribe and do share with your friends and also social science one more questions also from seventh standard is also put it in this youtube channel so don't forget to see that also so thanks for listening and i hope these are very very useful for you people thank you